This episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Yeah, head on over to Skillshare. I'm going to get it. Almost. Uh, slash Modern Rogue 4. First 500 of you guys get two months free. Skillshare. Skillshare? It's right here. Let them try. You, you guys try. Worst bar etiquette moment you've had. Go. I uh, got kicked out of a bar for uh, quoting Anchorman too much. Had they not seen Anchorman? No. <laughs> Did they just think you were that guy? No. And so when I said, I'm going to punch you right in the uterus, <laughs> it was taken as a threat. Oh. Uh, Okay, uh, that, that's important. What about you? Uh, I threw up on a bouncer's shoes. Like on purpose? No. Is, is, is that a super skill you have? <laughs> he's like accurate too. He's, he's like Brundlefly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, did the bouncer just dissolve? <laughs> just dissolve down Start in the screaming. And no. then you... <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> Etiquette for ordering at a bar. So we're back again at the Parker Jazz Club, hanging out with Trevor, and I did not realize this, but I guess there's a whole bunch of unwritten rules. I've never worked behind a bar, so I don't know what it's like, but I know what it's like to be on the other side of the bar and really hope to get service quickly. I'm always afraid that I will offend the bartender or that I'm being a jerk, and so I'm like, is this the appropriate thing to do? Is this thing that I've been doing for 20 years going to upset someone? I mean, there's not a whole lot that you have to do to get the bartender's attention. There's not a whole lot you have to do to get your drink. But I'm going to tell you, there are five things you should never do. This is great. This is like the reverse modern rogue. The modern chooch. Because I'm a modern chooch! <laughs> <laughs> I love how desperate and sad you sounded. Just like... And the acoustics. Someone help me! <laughs> Well, here I am, a real bartender with my spirit animal on my shoulder. I wonder if there'll be any patrons today. Yo, bro, 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 dude, bro, bro, hey, bro, bro, hey, bro, yo, can I get a drink? Bro, yo, hey, man, yo. I'm gonna wait till he says boss. Bro. <laughs> Hey, bro. Bro. What's up, bro? What's up? What's up, bro? Yo! Bro, bro, bro. Sorry, can I help you, sir? Hey, boss. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say that the things I'm supposed to learn is don't be overly familiar with the bartender, don't flash your money. What are you supposed to do instead? I don't know, I do think we have someone that can show a better example of yes. what you're supposed to do. Magically summon Here, Anthony. Put that, put, that, put, put that away, we don't. <laughs> Hi, I'm a legitimate bartender, what can I do for you? Hey man, how's that going so far? You know what, I'm disarmed by your honest interest in my day. Why, thank you, it's going quite well. What can I get for you, sir? Awesome, I I'll take a Guinness. Well, you have my full attention. Boop, 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 I bartended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a super legitimate bartender, polishing guy. What's up, bro? Hey, hey, uh, what can I do for you? Yeah, what do you, what do you got on tap? What this is a legitimate bar, and I am a legitimate bartender. Well, what legitimate beers do you have on draft, uh, weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Guinness and Abita and Buckethead and Mosaic and the other one. What whiskeys do you have? I mean, there's the Redbreast and the Chivas and the Dalmore and the Balvany and the uh, McAllister and the Buffalo Trace and... See how much time this is taking out of your day? Yes. No, you're right. All of a sudden I feel it because like I'm in the moment and I'm just like, this mother is going to make me read all of it to him? That's the dumbest crap ever. All right. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see now. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the lesson is uh, don't waste their time. Don't make them ask for a no, bunch of stars. If they have a lot of whiskeys and scotch, it's fine to ask, do you have a list? Yeah. I will gladly give you a list. If you ask for one to be suggested, I can suggest one. But if they are prominently displayed behind me, just look. So I got a question. This might be a crime that I commit on the regular. I say dealer's choice when it comes to a lot of stuff. No. Is that good or bad? No, no. I have no problem with people wanting me to show them my favorite spirit, particularly with whiskey. Right. Because I would like to either show a new one or a favorite. Also, same thing when it comes to drinks. If someone says, I don't know what I want, 
make me something? Oh, that's carte blanche. I can do anything I want. See, I, I, I would love that. I would almost think that that's a problem because that's too much wide open space to run around in. Like, like I feel like I'm doing them a favor if I say, I want an IPA your choice as to what IPA I should try. And then I make sure to ask so that I'm registering the value of their choice. If the bartender feels stressed from that, that's their fault. Okay. How's it going, man? Can I get your favorite 12 year scotch? Oh man, I'll tell you what's great is the red breast. That's the dumb one. I don't know it. where it's the red over there. There it is, it's great, yeah. it's great. I did good. Yes, I, that's I'm, it, a, that's I'm it. a legitimate bartender. Yeah, no, look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Trevor, you didn't tell me that being a bartender would be so busy. I've Bro. got a lot of stuff to do. I, I, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm very busy, but I, I'll be happy to take your order. What's your order, sir? Uh, hey, yo, boys, yeah, what's up? Rubble mints, rubble mints, old fashioned, old fashioned, rubble mints, Screw, screwdriver. Is it, I, can you even drink that? I don't, that's like paint thinner. Okay, so, screwdriver but with uh, the vodka from Poland, potato vodka, none of the other stuff. Are, what? Okay, never mind that. Old fashioned, bro. Old, <laughs> two old fashions? <laughs> two old fashions, a martini, in a martini glass, man. Not in like a solo cup or whatever. And uh, what? Okay, no, solo cup's fine. Um, and, and wait, what was? Okay, yeah, two old fashions, a screwdriver, a martini in a solo cup, and Six bu six Bellinis. <laughs> six Bellinis. I'm sorry, what's a Bellini? It's a real drink. Okay. <laughs> the vindication that Jason feels for it being a real drink. I didn't make it up. <laughs> I wouldn't do something like that. So I'm gonna guess that the lesson here <laughs> is know your freaking order. Have your order ready. There's nothing more infuriating than, yes, we are busy, and yes, I am trying to get to you, but if you come up to me and then suddenly don't know what you want and you're ordering for seven people that aren't with you, one, I need IDs for all those drinks. Yep. Two, I can only serve so many drinks to one person at one time. Don't show up at the laundry list. You may think you're doing a favor for everybody there, but your not, job is not to be a cocktail waitress. Your job is to show up, and if you're at the bar, you are here for a drink for you and maybe one other person. And even if it is a large order, I'm willing to take it. But just please know, have it in order, and have it ready. No, but seriously though, look how well polished <laughs> this plastic bottle is. This is a very, I'm a very good bartender. Uh, sir, we're very busy, but what can I do for you? Yeah, can I get uh, two screwdrivers, an Old Fashioned, and a Bellini? Yes, I can do that, because that is a specific list of things you asked me for. Me, a legitimate bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Just one competent bartender hanging out at a bar, twirling a cucumber. cucumber. Bro! Yes? Bro, what's up? Hey, what? Yes. <laughs> May I uh, help you? Yeah, uh, I want a Manhattan, bro. Uh, uh, okay. What do, you, what do you What do you guys put in your Manhattan? Uh, 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 two one two, sir. We do uh, rye whiskey, two ounces, one ounce sweet vermouth, and two dashes of bitters, uh, the way God yeah. intended. Okay. Yeah. God is a channel called the Modern Rogue. You know, over uh, when I'm making it at home, it's usually I usually use scotch. Why do you rye whiskey? Uh, I don't know. And over at the other bar. Yeah, they do it a lot better. They, they, yeah, they, they actually use like good scotch over there instead of just some like rye whiskey. Okay, so here's my problem with that. Just because that's how he makes it home, that's how he makes it home. And the bar down the street, they could be making it differently too. He also mentioned scotch, which isn't in Manhattan. That would be a rock boy. But if he would like his drink to be changed up, I can do that. I don't have a problem with that, but just understand that when bars have their drinks, they have a proper way of making them and they have a standard way of making so them. So in other words, it's okay to ask for a substitution, but don't act like the way somebody else does it is the default normal or superior way. Right, because when it comes to cocktails, there are several different ways that you can change them up, modify them, however. But bars are gonna make the drinks the way that they feel they're best properly served. And really, you should be a gentleman about it when you ask. How's it going? I'm fine, I'm just spitting a cucumber as one does. Cool. Can I get a Manhattan with some uh, extra sweet vermouth in there? Extra sweet vermouth? You think you can change our recipe? Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm happy to do that for you, because I'm a legitimate bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. What's up, bro? Uh, hey, what you got that's gluten-free? I got this. 
everything is gluten free. All spirits are gluten free. Yo, you can't talk to me like that, bro. I know the owner. We're like, yeah, it's like a buddy of mine. <laughs> I'll handle this one as well. <laughs> I know the owner too. He cuts my paychecks. This is something that annoys the ever-living hell out How of every How often does this actually happen? A lot. And the funny thing is a lot of times when they walk in, they don't even know the owner's name. They just act like it's it. They might be Facebook friends. Sham? What's his name? What, what's Sham? the owner's name? Sham? Yes, he Sham doesn't even know. Berkland. He doesn't even know. Sham Berkland, Berkland is the owner of this bar. Sham we're close Berkland. friends. <laughs> it's a, I, I'm sorry, and where did, where did uh, Sham Berkland go to college? Janaman. <laughs> Janaman State in Ohio. Right. We went there together. And, and, and he, of course, played front guard in the hoop ball. <laughs> he was front guard on the team for Janaman State, the Janaman State Warriors. Sham. This, yeah, Bert this is exactly Lohan. what happens every time that someone says, I know the owner. His name is Sham. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I have no problem with people coming in and saying they know the owner because when an owner has a bar, he's going to have lots of friends. Of course, of course. The owner here, he has a lot of musician friends that come in that are coming to see him. They come in here to see his music. I will gladly serve you if you're the owner's friend, even if you're not the owner's friend. Well, and plus also, if you're actually the owner's friend, my guess is you don't call him the owner. You probably know his first and last name and maybe Sham. where his kids go to school. Sham Berkland. <laughs> Berkland, Berkland. The, the Warriors, huh? Yep, Janaman State Warriors front guard. What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, can I get an old-fashioned? Yeah, of course. Is, is that Sham in tonight? He's an old friend of mine. Wait, Sham is the owner of this bar. Wait a minute. I didn't know that you knew him. Yeah, I didn't even know oh, that Sham hey, was the owner of the bar. How do you know Sham? Sham as I, as I mean. back that, uh, Of the Shabbat Georgia. State. <laughs> of the Georgia Berkelmans. Oh, turn, yeah, did you just... <laughs> <laughs> Sham is not gonna like that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Sam's gonna have your ass. Trevor's gonna have your ass. <laughs> Alright, so we've covered five don'ts, including this image. <laughs> when it comes to getting service, but once you've got service, what's the right way to tip? It's different in each country, quite honestly. Uh, I was just in Europe and some people were almost offended if I tipped them. Here in America though, uh, a lot of us, we're not making hourly. Yeah. So we do depend on the tips. We're just looking for 20%. And if you walk your tab, it's gonna be 20%. If we give you good service, 25% maybe, but a dollar a drink, a dollar a shot, something that simple, it's not that hard. Right on. All right, so what you're telling me is I can't wave around money and try to get your attention. I need to know exactly what I want. Don't walk up and say, what do you have on draft when it's right there in front of you. Don't try to correct the bartender and tell him uh, exactly how you would do it. Don't brag about knowing the owner and try to get special favors or whatever. And tip, tip 20% or dollar per drink is fair, fine. I'm a legitimate bartender. And if you see this, you turn around and walk away. No, Find no another bar. <laughs> Don't go to one of those Cucumber Ocarina bars. <laughs> the Cucumber Ocarina would be a great name for a bar. Are you kidding me? That would be amazing. Are they performing next week? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that should be the name of the bar out at uh, the Modern Rogue HQ. And it only plays the Popeye theme. <laughs> Do you, you have a link where they can all find that? You chunks all over it. <laughs> it's a great ending. Yeah. <laughs> you still believe that the internet is a dumpster fire? A yeah. bathtub of flaming poo? Is that what you called it? Careening down the mountain? Yeah, explain. Where's your family? Walk me through this. Justify this. Okay. It's kind of like Fury Road. Yeah, okay. It's up at the top of a mountain. Yeah. It's filled full of poop. Yeah. Poop is mostly <laughs> harvested from comment sections. Okay. It runs on rage and feces. And, and, and just uh, like what, Petey Pie's the doof warrior up front? Just yeah. like rocking out, flinging crap everywhere <laughs> with his big pinwheel and arms. <laughs> and then bam, it hits your family, poops everywhere, and nobody learned a damn thing. 
<laughs> the last part is the most important part. It's very hard, if I'm understanding you correctly, to find high quality instructional tutorials of people at the top of their artistic game. It was obviously the point of the metaphor. It sounded to me like what you really want is access to 25,000 tutorials to join 7 million other creators as you better yourself with everything from how to learn cinematography, Photoshop, or photo edit, or edit photos. I'm just going to do everything is photo related. <laughs> Business, social media, okay, that calligraphy. Too. No dumpster fires anywhere when you go to our friends at Skillshare. Yeah. SKL.sh slash Modern Rogue 4. The first 500 people who sign up get two months free. You get to learn as much as you want. Unlimited access, and dude. It's less than $10 a month. All of this is curated, so you're not going to stumble across, oh, this is good for me to learn, and oh, I'm standing in a bathtub full of dumpster, and now it's hurtling down the mountain towards someone else's family. SKL.sh slash Modern Rogue 4. Make us look good. Improve your yourself and get two months free if you're one of the first 500. You gotta hurry. Hustle, hustle, run, fly, you fools. Dodge the poop tub. Yo, bro, 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 dude, bro, bro, hey, bro, bro, hey, bro, yo, can I get a drink? Bro, yo, hey, man, yo. <laughs> <laughs>